Congratulations to all of you who are on the top list of president recognition, and thank you for those lovely testimonials. Now, as we know, today is about recognition and about creating successful businesses, and also to get inspired by other top leaders within Crowd1 who have created successful businesses. So now we're going to meet one of the top leaders and his wife, who together as a couple are creating and paving the way for success both on business and also with training and webinars offline and online. They're working tirelessly every day, every evening to really keep the flow of education and inspiration flowing. And they're here to join me in a conversation and talk a little bit about how are they working as a couple, what is success to them, and how also is social media part of the equation. So please give a warm welcome to Björn and Olga Arnstedt. Welcome to the talk show section of the stage. Mm, I like this like number one. It was like a little mini number me. One. Number one. Crowd one. Well, great that you could join us because I also think it's good to be able to convey, you know, working also as a couple. Um, and Bjorn, if I start with you, because you have a wealth of knowledge, not least experience within the networking uh, industry and affiliate industry. Could you just share with us a bit, how did that all start? from the beginning to where you are today, just briefly. Yeah, I started many years ago, well, about 25 years ago. And actually, one of the people who inspired me was uh, the uh, sales mentor, Mr. Peter Jacobson, mm. who I saw at that time. And uh, I saw that if, if he can do this, maybe one day I can be the same. And I've been following and working and ending up in the same company here. So for many years, I've been working with uh, good mentorship. I have been working with people with uh, um, good thinking of how to do following the principles of network mm -hmm. marketing. Mm -hmm. And um, in the end, I ended up in Crowd1, and I'm really happy with that one. And it's the best that happened to, to me in my career. Yeah, because I know that Peter also mentioned sort of the principles of network marketing. Would you both like to share maybe two or three of the key principles that people should apply? One of the key that I like is that you can't get something for nothing. Mm. And I learned that the hard way that uh, when you're working really hard with networking, then you can expect something. And also that what we in, uh, expect is what we inspect from before. Mm. And uh, I don't think network marketing has anything to do with luck. So the harder we work and uh, to work with the right people and having a mentorship, I think that's, that's one of the key things in everything we do, that we need to have somebody we can follow. And uh, if you find a really good one, like I did, and uh, then a miracle can happen. Mm. What about you, Olga? What do you find? Uh, I got inspired by, uh, <laughs> by actually Bjorn. Mm. Um, before, I, uh, I actually, I didn't know exactly what is everything about. Mm. It took time to get into it, but um, maybe I was enough enough inspired and enough uh, strong to to get into this energy. Mm. Because I remember myself, I was looking for something that I didn't know exactly what I'm looking for. And uh, I, I always knew that there's right people, but what kind of right people I didn't know. So when I get to know him closer and closer, and I understood that we, we have something in common. Mm that is very hard to explain. And by maybe, like Peter also said about the discipline, I, I got to not be very high level, but on the step higher. So I am really happy for that. And uh, I wish, and I know that <laughs> step by step, uh, and I will get there. And, and how, I mean, working together as a couple is, is amazing. I'm sure it can sometimes have its challenges as well. But if we just start with how, how do you sort of work? Wh who does what? And how do you complement each other? Olga is doing most of the, uh, the social media. And uh, I'm more into the old fashioned, the training of people and the coaching of people and building teams because that's what it's most about. But my skills are not so good in, in online. Mm. And then Olga is a good complement to run uh, that part of the business. Mm. 
So tell us a bit, because I mean, especially going now from offline to online, we're becoming more and more digitalized and communicating more digitally. Mm -hmm. um, how, what, what, are, what are successful strategies when it comes to social media? Um, I can say it is depends mm. because a lot of strategy is used by people already and you think, okay, maybe that was very popular the last year, might be not be popular the next year mm. because a lot of tools already everybody knows. Mm. So I'm trying to always look for something that is my, um, like my mindset or mind say to me, uh, say, this time you have to check out something like that or try it this way. Or, like, be creative, mm. because if you're not creative, you always think that you have to copy somebody. But of course, duplication is everything. Mm. But if you have something special and you're not afraid to show and try, you will be a uh, little bit in another way. And, and also looking um, to, to you, Bjorn, with your experience in the industry and especially looking now in the uncertain times that we're in where I'm sure people also face challenges even if there are possibilities and solutions could you share what kind of tactics do you have you know in moments of uncertainty in moments of fear or in moments of you know I don't know where to turn to what 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 what, what are sort of the tools that people can hold on to personally I'm I'm using a strong why I'm also using a, a formula for working with your knowledge, working with your attitude, and working with your skills and habits. Mm. And if you can improve and be a little bit better that when you wake up, when you go to bed, then you are approaching closer and closer to your goals. And by studying and, and by getting mentorship and also by getting motivation from other people around, and I think that from the team that we work today, and I think thanks to the situation we have today, we're getting closer to people, mm. even if it's online, mm. and that has given Crowd1 a really good uh, timing in everything. Mm. So I think that whatever happens in time, this came into the right place. I've been working from home since 2005, so for me it's no difference. But for a lot of people, I think it requires a lot of discipline. It requires a lot of, uh, of strong will and why to do it. Mm. And then impossible is nothing. So. Um, and I guess it also requires, I mean, I think it was Anthony who says, you know, he has a wingman that, that sort of also, you, you know, you push and you leverage each other. And also that sense of teamwork that can now be as much offline and online as, as, as offline. How, how, how do you see that, you know, leadership, teamwork, leveraging um, businesses and so forth going forward? It's always been important to, ha to work with your key people and uh, uh, it will identify who will be the wingman. But of course, if you can have it in the family, you can have a person who can compliment you and mm. do the things which you're not so good at. Mm. But in every team you have different kind of skills mm. and uh, as a leader you have to identify who is good in what mm. and then lift each other to the level that uh, everybody came to the best essence of. Mm. Success is making other people successful. Yes. And I'm sure many are inspired by you being a couple, working together. So, I mean, is there any challenge with working together? Do you have to like have strategy, boundaries, or, you know, or does it just flow? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> that it flows or that it doesn't no, flow? No, I wouldn't say that there are some yeah. challenges. Great. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think um, I know how to go into the flow. Mm if say like that. Uh, I know that he's busy all the time, so I'm trying to get into my things and um, to find my way how I can get to something better. Mm. Make yourself better is, I think, the best thing what you can do during your life. Mm. So if he's doing presentation, I'm only happy because I have from where to learn. and. Um, Maybe for somebody it's maybe disturbing, but I think it's only if people have the different uh, look in their life or mm. they have in, like a different interest. Mm. But it's, I don't think so it's our way. No, having a common goal. Yeah, is, common is very goals important. and, and uh, then you know why you do it yeah. and uh, you have the respect for each other what you do and uh, supporting in different ways. Mm. That is the key. Uh, too many people are looking into their own ego and, and that's holding them back instead mm. of seeing that you have different kind of, um, 
of friends around you, you have different kind of, of circle of social people, mm. and then you can combine them and you can make a success together instead of making one person uh, doing the job. And speaking of success, each of your definition, what is success to you? What is it? What, 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 what are the components of success? I think success for me is when you are hef- happy from yourself. Mm, happy for yourself, inside. Of for yourself, mm. yeah. When you, you know what you want, mm. you, when you inspire by yourself and you go into, into this with the all, like patient, with desire. Mm. If you don't have desire, you, something always holds you back. And that's good because there also needs to be role models who sort of can pave that way <laughs> and, and show that desire and, and, and think, that passion. I think there's a lot of uh, like famous models who is uh, on the start of their career, they think, maybe I'm not ready yet. Mm. And they're waiting for the time and the moment. And when the days come, it's, they're ready like 20 years after. And uh, I heard so many stories how, how they said, um, why I am not was like productive before. Mm. So something, they, if they might do something faster, maybe it's a little bit could come faster. But I think for everyone is a time and timing. Time and timing. And beyond. Yeah, it's all about uh, taking the moment and the opportunity to make your life a little bit better. Mm. And uh, a lot of people are striving for the big changes, mm. but being grateful for what's happening right now. And uh, I mean, in a company like Crowd1, where people, like you said before, they are locked down or being in situations mm. where they lose work, this is the opportunity that everybody can actually change your life into a positive situation. And everybody define, of course, the success different. But I think the freedom and the possibility to do things like we heard today here, how people talk about traveling, and that is maybe tomorrow. But today we have something to be grateful for. And I think the more grateful we are, the more we actually see the, the success in our life. That's so true. Gratefulness is, is a very, very key component that we many times forget. And last but not least, just giving sort of maybe a piece of advice that you've been given or, or a piece of advice that sort of on your own path you found something. What is that piece of advice that you would like to share with the viewers today? Just go forward. Just go for it. Just do it. I got two keys when I started with network marketing. Ask a lot and ask for help. Yeah. And get the person who is, uh, have walked the path before. And that's why I'm really happy to work in the company. People like Peter, like mm-hmm. Jonas, mm-hmm. like Johan, and having role models, because that's what we all need in this life. We need good people to follow. Yeah. Olga, Bjorn, thank you so much for sharing your insights. And thank you for being you know, trailblazers as a couple within Crowd1. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very, very much. much.